Hey guys, welcome to podcast 8.6. This is probably going to end up being the last instructional podcast on, uh, we're doing Punnett squares and genetics right now. So we're not done with the genetics chapter, but we're going to, this is the last two types of Punnett squares that you need to be able to do um, as part of the genetics chapter. And so today we're going to be taking a look at codominance and multiple alleles, and they kind of go squished together into one uh, one idea, and that's why we're doing these together at the same time. Uh, so we're going to start with codominance because it ties into multiple alleles. So in codominance, genes do not mix like they do in incomplete dominance. So remember, in incomplete, if we take a red flower plus a white, we get pink. Okay, those traits mix together. That's incomplete dominance, where neither one can really take over the other. Codominance. Uh, instead of mixing, they are both shown equally. Uh, and what we see that is something that's spotted. Uh, so we're going to take a look at codominance in cows, uh, where we take a black cow. Okay, so notice here, because these are both dominant with one another, we use two capitals uh, to show totally black or totally white. Uh, so we're going to cross a homozygous black cow and with a white cow. So over here on your square, we're going to do the black cow on top, so capital B, capital B. This has to be capital, capital, be totally black. And just like with black, the white cows need to be capital W, capital W. And when we're doing our cross, okay, again, very simple Punnett square, we have capital B, capital W, capital B, capital W, and you can go in from there. So all of these offspring have both a dominant black allele as well as a dominant white allele. These are co-dominant. What we get are black white spotted cows. We see both alleles shown equally. Uh, now if you cross two heterozygous, two black and white cows, um, I'll show you just, I mean you can sketch this in on your own or you can just, you know, listen as I show this. So we've got a black, white, black, white. What you should get, again, you should get 50-50 a mix of totally black or white with two spotted cows again. So you can see how these genes interact with one another. And remember with heterozygous, we always get a mix. Okay, so this is a heterozygous mix. Or a heterozygous cross. Um, so codominance, again, they do not mix with one another. They don't blend into like a gray looking cow. They both show up equally with one another. Along those lines, multiple alleles uh, has something similar going on. Um, multiple alleles does not mean an individual can have more than two alleles per trait. We're always looking at an individual that's got a pair of alleles or a pair of genes working together to show that trait. Uh, and what, what it does mean is that there are more than two possible alleles. So up until this point, we've been looking at it's either going to be dominant or recessive. You've got one or the other, or you've got two, you know, like black and white showing up at the same time, or you've got red and pink mixing. We've only got two choices for that trait. With multiple alleles, there are more than two, so you can get more combinations. Uh, and blood type is a really, really good example for this because there are three alleles for all the possible blood types. They are going to be, we use a capital I because that's the gene, and you can have an I, A, you can have an I, B, or you can have a lowercase i, okay? Uh, I, A, or A type, and B type are both co-dominant. They are co-dominant with one another, so they'll mix, right? They'll both show up, but they are both dominant to this I type, okay? So again, we've got multiple alleles with co-dominance as part of it. So I want to show you some genotypes down here. With the A-type blood, we can have IA as a dominant to the lowercase i, right? Just like if you wanted to show height, uh, you can have a heterozygous, a dominant or a, over a lowercase, or you can have a, or a homozygous A-type blood. B-type is the same. You can have IB, lowercase, or you can have a homozygous B type. I'm running out of space here. In AB, because these are co-dominant with one another, this one can only be a mixture of A and B type alleles. 
And the O type, that is totally recessive. The O blood type is the recessive type, so this can only be two lowercase i's. So here on the Punnett square, I'm actually, don't erase yours, I just need to erase this so I have some room to write, sorry about that. Um, so in this cross, we're gonna cross an AB and a B type parent. So I'll rewrite the B up here so you can refer to it, IBI or IB, IB. So we need to cross an AB, which is right here, so we'll do that on top, so we've got IA and IB, this is an I, not a T, IA and B type parents. So for the B type, let's go ahead and do a heterozygous B. So we're gonna include that O genotype. So we've got IB and a lowercase i. So when you do your cross, carry down your I's. So we have IA, IB, 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 IA, lowercase i, IB lowercase i. So in this cross with blood type, because of the multiple alleles and because of the codominance working in there as a factor, these offspring, we can have four different genotypes, right? So we're going to pull this down here. So we can have an AB blood type from this box, so number one. Second, we can have a B type. And this can either be IBIB IB, homozygous or it can be heterozygous for the B type or thirdly we can have an A type and this is the IA I. Uh, so again multiple alleles we get a lot more phenotypes showing up uh, let me erase this one more time so make sure you have this uh, copy down then flip to the back of your page um, and we're gonna do one more cross here let me get rid of all this And we're going to do the second cross. We're going to cross an E, or not an E, an A type parent with a B type parent. Then we want to get one O offspring. And remember, O is totally recessive. So that means this one of these squares, it doesn't matter which one, I always show the totally recessive in the bottom right, has to be homozygous recessive, which means I need a lowercase i up here and a lowercase i over here from my parents. And if I have an A type, that means my A. I have to have a dominant A blood type and a dominant B blood type. And when we do our cross again, we get in IA, IB, IB lowercase i, IA lowercase i, and then two lowercase i's. So now again, we've got an AB right here in this first box. We have a B type in the top right. We have an A type in the bottom left, and we have an O type in the bottom right. Uh, so you're going to be doing a question in class that looks at blood typing and how um, historically they use blood type to connect people to crimes. But I mean, looking at these Punnett squares, the blood type isn't as definitive as something like DNA testing is now. Um, so again, make sure you've got all your notes down. I have erased some things, so jump back, make sure you've got things written down. Um, and then take a look at the practice crosses that are on the website.